Building out a high ticket coaching program should not be hard work. Welcome back to my channel and back to another video all about how you can grow your online coaching business. What steps you can take to make sure your online business is more successful. If you're somebody struggling to grow your coaching business to five figures, six figures and beyond, this is the video for you. I'm hugely passionate about the importance of implementing a high ticket coaching package into your business, especially for somebody who is working one-to-one -one with their clients. So you're giving up quite a lot of your time, your expertise, and even just your energy to your client. I really, really want to kind of push home the importance of high ticket coaching to those people. Now, I do want to preface this video with a little bit of a disclaimer. So I have talked about this before, and there are lots of people in my network, in my kind of community that are coaches for the love of it. They are potentially still working full time. They have no real want or need to leave full time work. Coaching is just something they do for the true joy and satisfaction of it. And some people in my network are kind of semi retired or heading towards that retirement. And it's just ticking along, getting them some extra cash in the background it's not necessarily something that they're building out to be a long-term sustainable business. So for those people, charge what you want. You can ignore me, you can ignore this video and do what feels good for you. This video is for the people who are escaping a corporate career and trying to grow a long-term successful business that's going to at least match their corporate salary, if not provide them more financial freedom moving forward. But those people, high ticket is something that you seriously have to consider. But if you're a coach with lots of goals and you're struggling to see the numbers come to fruition, keep watching, I have some tips for you to get started. Building out a high ticket coaching program should not be hard work. So let's get into it. Why do so many coaches struggle with this concept of high ticket? Number one, imposter syndrome especially for new coaches. If you're trying to figure out how to package up a high ticket offer, the common enemy is oftentimes yourself. If you're uncertain of the results your clients get, if you're uncertain of the services that you should offer, it becomes quite quick that you become uncertain of yourself and uncertain of the rates you charge, uncertain of the value that you provide to your customers. And once you get to that space, it's really, really difficult to kind of make right in your head that it's okay for you to ask for 5,000, 10,000 pounds for a coaching package. And this is ultimately a mindset issue. So it's something that can be really difficult to overcome long term. So firstly, if you're a coach, you probably have a coach. Consult with them. Consider what things you can do to get past this blockage. If you don't have a coach, Maybe it's time to get one, somebody to support you through this period. But I will share a quick strategy that I've got for you to be able to kind of consider and see if you can make it past some of those fears about charging a high ticket rate for your services. So one of the strategies I work on with my clients is kind of upping your prices in little kind of easy to take on increments. So say you start off charging £250 a month for your coaching, Look, that package can look like whatever it looks like. It could be once a month, five times a month, completely irrelevant in this circumstance. But let's say £250 a month is what you're charging. And you feel a little unsure about that, but for the most part, you're comfortable and confident. If you're in that, that space where you can say the words comfortable and confident about your pricing, what myself and my clients tend to do is add some more to that figure. So maybe you will be able to, to put it up to 300. If that feels still comfortable and confident for you, maybe 350 is the next step for you to start charging. And we slowly but surely increment and work our way up until you are charging a rate that looks high ticket. Now, there's gonna be some business mentors watching this video screaming at me saying, no, 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 just add a zero, add a zero, they're undercharging. And I completely understand where this mindset comes from. Trying to rectify a quote unquote problem quickly is what a lot of coaches work on and, and want to focus on is being able to turn around and get results for their clients quickly. To me, I'm more passionate about long-term sustainable growth. And I don't believe that you can sell a product unless you are confident about it. So the method that I implement with my clients keeps you in that place of being able to feel confident about what you do while you're still slightly pushing, pushing that comfort zone 
pushing those boundaries and making sure you're charging closer to what you're worth. Number two, you've never made a product before. This sounds really self-explanatory as to why creating a coaching package would be difficult. But for a lot of the people that, that I work with, that I speak to, you're coming from a kind of corporate environment, an environment of an employee where you have been in the workforce promoting, selling somebody else's product. Now you could be an expert on helping your previous company to increase their revenue, make sales, maybe even be in marketing. But if you have never created a product of your own, you can kind of hit a bit of a black wall where you don't have the fully thought out, fledged, strategized product to be able to turn around and sell. So how do you begin that process? Luckily, this is one of the easier things to get over. It's not a mindset issue, it's a practical issue. So you can really get stuck in and get that sorted within just a couple of weeks or months. So one of the first steps I would push you to do is a bit of a brainstorming, mind mapping exercise where you consider who you want to work with in an ideal world and really commit to the people that you would like to serve. Once you have those in mind, it's about what problem you're going to fix for them. What do they need you for and how would you fix this problem? And you can start hypothetically just figuring out what would I do if this was somebody who came to me as an ideal customer and needed help with this particular issue. And you can kind of map out what you think would work, but bonus points if you're able to find somebody who can act as a little bit of a guinea pig, someone who's maybe a business contact. So you can really put them through the paces of a beta or a trial coaching program and help you to really flesh out and build out a package. Then moving on from that, it's just going to be about creating the right sort of positioning the right message to make sure that your product is fully thought out. So one of the things that I see all too often is coaches, online business owners in general, selling their products based on the features of their products. So if you're creating a package, what you really need to be focusing on is the outcome and the problem that is being solved for your, for your clients. And without getting too technical, that should be enough to get you started with your package, with your product. Because I'm fully a believer of done being better than perfect and having something that you can put to a potential customer and can get real time feedback on what it is that they are getting out of it will really kind of help and support you as you move forward. I know my business significantly changed within the first six to 12 months after I developed my first product and it looked completely different by the end of the first year. And I'm speaking as myself, but also I work with coaches. So I've seen the same happen time and time again. So I would say once you get the bare bones right, stick with just trying to let that evolve. Let it become what it needs to become. Number three is you don't know how to sell a product or package. You're somebody who gets stuck in the trap of kind of offering every single person that you work with a different price point, a different outline, and then you're trapped in this scenario where high ticket isn't really an option for you because everyone's getting a sort of different piece of you as they work with you. Now for this, I have an exercise for you. Something to really consider when you're building out your services and your packages is the level of solution that you're able to offer and at what level of output that takes from yourself. So typically, most business owners will have a diagonal line through a graph. I'll put a little something on the screen to demonstrate what I mean. What you'd be looking to do is create a multitude of different package and products to support different levels of people. Then you can stop giving bespoke, stop charging different months and have very clear outlines of low time, low output for you, but kind of the first steps for the potential client and it's a cheaper product, all the way up until a really high time, high output solution where they're working one-to-one -one with you, maybe weekly, maybe even ongoing touch points outside of that, like drop-in calls, voice messages. That's something that's gonna take you an awful lot more time, but it's also gonna make sure that the person on the other end is getting an awful lot better result. So you can charge significantly more from that. And once you have these product offerings that sit across this table at price versus output, 
or even output versus rewards, you're really able to kind of take away that element of needing to offer everybody something for them. And you can kind of point them to a resource that you already have that would suit them. But this isn't necessarily a day one activity. And if you're struggling to sell to your high ticket coaching clients, I'm afraid to say that creating different products won't solve that problem in its entirety. You need to get back to the core of the problem and that will be some kind of sales issue. I do have a workshop coming up next Monday, the 21st of November, which is focused on exactly this topic. I've done a ton of research about how you can sell high ticket coaching programs to get more high paying clients and ultimately a more sustainable business. So if you're interested in developing more around your expertise in that area, please do come along. It's completely free. It's something that I do pretty regularly at these free workshops. And I'll pop the registration link for Zoom in the bottom bar below. I really hope that you hit the subscribe button and like this video. And don't forget, this is a series. So if you're looking for something else to watch, I will pop up on the screen the last video from this series for you to go and get caught up so you can continue to grow your coaching business.